putting down yes yes i am <laughs> this little amp has been pretty inspiring <laughs> and it's four knobs it's the, uh, well, I, you know what i like to say right? four knob four knobs in the truth <laughs> <laughs> or three knobs in the truth or two knobs in the truth yes 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 i like four knobs four knobs and there's two i mean really this is the tone it's volume and tone that's it and then, and then there's this the, is the, the two added, other knobs for the tremolo the joy the fun of the amp yeah so what do we have, Rob? This is the Fender, by Fender, <laughs> Chris Stapleton edition, 62 Princeton. And it's the little amp that could. I mean, it's- Very much can. It's, it's, a, uh, it's 12 watts, two 6L6 tubes, it's 12 watts. Um, now, I think's shaking my soul, it's, 12 watts. It's pretty true to the original, the 62 brown face Princeton, it's the got. only major change is that Chris, um, and there's an interesting story behind this, the, the original 62 had a 10 inch speaker, this has a 12, and the 12 inch really just made the difference in kind of opening up the amp a little yeah. bit and made it to where it's an amp now that he can use not only in the studio, but live. And you know, back in the day, this, this, the, the 62 Princeton back in the day was a practice amp. Yeah, this, yeah. Was, this was an entry level, this was a bedroom amp. This was a practice amp. This Did you say bedroom? Bedroom. Bedroom amp. Okay. Yeah. Just make that sure. adds a little more legitimacy class to, to, your, <laughs> to you. <laughs> it's like when you you don't go to Target, you go to Target. Right? Yes, yes, okay. I get it. So, what was I saying? I don't know, man. So this I'm was good a practice. This was a practice amp, rocker. and and you know people started using it in the studio, so it kind of it, it it gained some ground that way. Um, and now, you know, in the in the age of everybody's using in-ear monitors on these big stages, the stage volume has gone way down to yeah. almost silent. So you can use any amp you can you use want. little amps that have tone again, and not, yeah. you don't have to rely on these big loud things. Eight, twelve-inch speakers. So this is an amp that Chris can use live on on big stages, and, and it sounds great. So it's got a rectifier tube in it, right? A five Y three, which is cool. Yeah, I think that's part of the mojo. No rectification, man. I found my mojo. I've been rectified. <laughs> but anyway, so the four knobs and the truth are volume and tone. Turn the turn your uh, your uh, the vibrato off. <laughs> Said we're not allowed to talk while we're playing. Uh, you, well, nobody will hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can. You can just shut my mic off. It'll just be like. So right there is two knobs in the truth, and that sounds by itself ridiculous. Like yeah. in he, I hope it's coming through the mic and everything. Um, but that is cool. That I mean, that's just like in itself. That's just a bold, full bottom yeah. tone out of two single coil pickups. Yeah, and this is one of those amps that's, I'm not a guy that, I'm not a player who uses, I don't use my volume knob a lot, you know. Yeah. It's it's just all on or all off yeah, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, but this is the kind of amp that's gonna force you. It could you. be a button. 
instead, right? <laughs> yeah, kill <laughs> switch. I, yeah. But this is an amp that will force you to kind of have to use your volume control on your guitar. Let's hear what that does. Because it, it's designed to be like it, when you've got, let's say you got the volume. What, where do we have the volume right now? We got it about the 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock position. Yes. Between, around 7, between 7 and 8. So if I spank it, it's going to get a little, little hair Buddy, on it, yeah. okay? But if I back my volume control down a little bit, play a little softer, nice chimey Fender yeah, clean yeah, yeah. sound. Yeah. So I can I can get a lot of dynamic out of the amp by using the volume control on my guitar. Not just dynamics, just a, almost a different tone. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So this mod, so there are a few other mods in the amp that you can't just go buy a Princeton and throw a 12 in this. We should say too before we go any further that if you're hearing a reverb, this amp does not have reverb in it. Yes. We've got a reverb pedal running through the front end just to give us that little that little shimmer, but this amp does not come with reverb. Right. So the idea and what I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me <laughs> I did is a lot. this has a 12 inch speaker. They used to come with tens yeah. and the Princetons do, yeah. but you can't just grab a Princeton and throw a 12 in this. There's some there are some mods that Chris had done to his personal amp that they put in this production yeah. amp. And uh, so if Actually, you're going to go, he bought the amp that way yeah, off of yeah. Craigslist. It was already modded. He's oh, like, I thought he had it modded. No, he had he had he was in this on the quest for the the perfect amp, and he'd been yeah. through a lot of different Fender amps. Found a '62 Princeton. Really dug it, but it still wasn't giving him that. It wasn't an amp that he could use yeah. live. Yeah. Um, he ended up finding on Craigslist another 62 Princeton, but the guy, the previous owner, had put a 12 inch speaker in it and made the mods for the 12. Yeah. And turns out that was the magic for, for Chris. That's cool. You know, and the thing that, um, okay, so I went and saw, he was opening for Guns N' Roses two or three years mm -hmm. ago, and I saw him, and, he, and I was like, this, I knew he was a badass, you know, yeah. and he's an amazing singer on top of playing guitar, but he's playing like offset guitars and stuff. Jazz you, master. Yeah, right? I mean, it's just, it's just so, and his you know, big P90s, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that tone is r yeah. ridiculous, yeah. you know, and we're playing at the Tennessee, and he's playing at the Tennessee Titans football field, yeah. you know what I mean? Right. And it's like this big open area. And it sounds so great. I don't know if he was playing this, but like his tone yeah. was mimicking what he would have gotten with this, yeah. and I loved it. The, you know, like I've always said, if there was somebody, like if there was some artist that I could have some beers with, it'd be him. And I would sit there, and I just, and he's just Listen, so you'd, cool on stage, man. You'd have a beer with just about any artist. You're or right. You're, I'd have a beer with you even. You're just looking for somebody to have a beer yes. with. Yes, and buy me a beer, <laughs> but. Uh, but anyway, so let's get into the other the other. Well, two, from what two, I understand, Chris Chris plays pretty much all the time with the tremolo on. Yeah. And the way this tremolo works, so there's two controls. There's speed and intensity. So let's let's you want to, as I play, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. kind of tweak the knobs a little bit. I'll tweak.
want to understand, listen, we can test it right now. So the way this tremolo works too is that if you really spank it and you're playing hard, the tremolo will kind of duck out of the way a little bit and let your note come through. And then as, as it's dying, it kind of starts wobbling. Gives us some again. mojo. Yeah. That's nice, because if you use like, I'm using a vibe pedal to kind of get that same little thing. Yeah. It doesn't do it doesn't that. Doesn't duck out. Like it's everything I play has that on it, yeah. and it kind of gets in the way a little bit. Yeah. So that's cool. I didn't... There's nothing on the back of this thing except an on-off switch and a, a ground uh, lift. It's, that's it. It's simple. It's basic, but it's so, I awesome. Mean, I'm sure you'll know, turn that off and play. Reverb off too. Okay. Reverb's off now. Obviously, everybody like the first question we get asked is, "Can I put my pedals on it?" And it's like, "Yeah, you can." There's I mean, no effects loop, so you're going to run everything through the front end. Yeah. But I mean, experiment away because it's a nice, clean yeah. platform. And really. not many amps can you turn it all the way up to ten on the tone, and it still get a killer tone. Yeah. Play it again. <laughs> It's naturally yeah. because it's that low wattage, it's, it gets kind of hairy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you can soften up your playing and it cleans right up. Diamond so, it out. Yeah, dime everything, man. <laughs> dime it. But you know, that's that's one thing. We had another manufacturer in here, a really good guitar maker. You probably know who I'm talking about, if uh, you know us at all. And he was talking about you should build amps to where every setting could be usable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you could turn everything to 10, turn something to 1, turn something else to 10, mm -hmm. and it's usable. It doesn't mean you're going to use it on that song, but it should be a desirable tone, yeah. you know what I mean? And yeah. this is that, this is that. And I, I tell you, man, Fender is hitting on all cylinders with their guitars right now, with their amps. I, I agree. mean, it just, yeah. it's just such a, it's just such a good, good time to be getting into guitar because it's so, I'll just say this, it, for manufacturers right now, I would venture to say this is the most competitive time in guitar making and probably amp building because I mean there's so many boutique amps out there, boutique mm -hmm. guitar mm -hmm. makers, boutique pedals. Which has forced the big names to, to step, step up, up. their game. Yeah, because yeah. you can't you can't you're not just the top three guitar builders anymore yeah. because there's forums. There's, there's many choices. Uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 it, it is truly, you know, competition is a good thing. Yeah. You know, and it makes you step up your game and it has. I mean, you know, f a year and a half ago, Fender was making some not so good pedals. Now all these new pedals they've came out with are um, they're they're legit. I mean, yeah. they can go yeah. up against these boutique pedals, yeah. you Absolutely. know. And uh, so it's cool. So anyway, the Chris Stapleton Princeton 62, and uh, it's here at More Music MoreGuitars.com. Are we done? I think we're done here. Yeah, we're done here. <laughs> we're all polished off. There's coffee to be drunk. Yes, it's Drank. early. Drank. Drunk, drunkted. <laughs> drunkted. So <laughs> what we have is the Chris Stapleton 62 Princeton. Um, we are here to help. Please call us if you have any questions. Um, we've been known to be the friendliest guys in the business and gals. We've got some really cool girls we working do. here. They're awesome. Yeah. Um, we've got an amazing return policy. We've got financing options. We've got... 
just anything you need to make this work. And every guitar and every amp gets a full inspection before it hits the road on its way to you. Um, please take a moment, if you like the video, subscribe down here somewhere in this region and hit the little notification thing to where you get notifications. And share when we come it with out. a friend. Yeah, share it. If you like us, if you don't like us, share us. Share it. To if you get... hated the video, share it. Look at these guys. Yeah, share it. You know, <laughs> make fun of us. We don't care. But anyway, the most a really important thing that will benefit you big time is go to our website, moreguitars.com. Sign up for our email list, and, make, and you'll get daily arrivals. So when cool stuff like this comes in, you'll be one of the first to know. Yeah. Um, you'll get deals. You'll get week. You get newsletters. You get news on stuff, and uh, you know, check out our knowledge page on the website. But like I said, I don't want to get off on a tangent here. Sign up for the email list. You're going to get a bunch of cool stuff that's going to benefit you, not just us shoving stuff down your throat. Yeah. But uh, anyway, more music, moreguitars.com here in Evansville, Indiana. This is Rob. I'm Brett. Call anytime. Thanks for joining us.